When you do the walking knee hug, you want to stay nice and tall in your torso. One hand's on the outside of your ankle, one hand's on the inside of your knee. You're going to stay nice and tall, so don't let your chest round over. The walking quad stretch, we just reach with the opposite hand straight up to the ceiling. We bring this knee right down beside. Don't let it flare out. So it gives us a chance to stretch our quadriceps, but also work a little on our dynamic balance. I'm going to give you a couple of bonus exercises. These ones aren't in your manual, um, but I think they're really valuable. So one is a high kick into an inverted reach. So it's a great dynamic stretch for your hamstrings. Big thing with this, when you kick up with that leg, again, don't let your back round. So only kick as high as you can without rounding your back. And then we'll do our lunge with a rotation and we'll rotate away from the back leg, staying up nice and tall. And again, that ties in that hip flexor with our abdominal oblique musculature. So we're going to bring our elbow toward our instep or toward the inside of our knee, keeping the back leg straight, I'm trying to keep my torso as straight as I can. Then I'll come back to a hamstring and then I get a hip flexor and then step through to my next repetition. I really like this one because it gives you a chance to dynamically lengthen your groins, but then make a little quick reactive movement. So it's down and back, and then just a nice speedy shuffle. Make sure you remember to do that facing each direction. Then I can add in a little rotation as I come through that low lateral step. So as my hips come across, my hand comes across as if um, I'm in a butterfly position and I have to reach for a glove save. Sometimes you can be fine in your groins, but it's when you add in that stretch through the abdominal obliques that you'll actually trigger a groin strain or a lower abdominal injury. I think this one's a great one for goalies as well because it gets you working your hip mobility, requires some balance and core stabilization. So you'll put your hand on your head. I just call it over the fence. So you're going to come out to the side and around to the front over the fence. You can go over the fence backward, which for some reason is a lot harder than it seems like it should be. Or my favorite is doing a skipping over the fence. High knee skipping is a good chance to fire our hip flexors and again, work on our dynamic core stabilization. So as we drive the knee up, we don't want to let the chest fall down. We'll stay nice and tall. And then again, we want to get a little quick power. So we'll just do some nice low lateral hops. So when you push laterally, make sure you're not popping up in the air and coming down. Just a nice straight lateral push.